What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Delph Minky Quill, and I have got a random Project Life process video for you today. So this is just using bits and bobs from my stash. There's no kits, there's no plan, there's no nothing. So on my desk, I have this little box and in it, I keep Project Life cards. So these are cards that are left over from kits, um, left over from some design team stuff that I did last year. They're bits of six by six paper that I've cut up into cards. They're just random bits and pieces. So this is from a cut apart paper pad sheet, I think from Crate Paper by the looks of it. And I like to have this container handy, A, because I got sick of the Project Life card called kits that I had in my big container. I need to go through and I'm, I've got a project that I'm going to do with them. Um, but it's also just handy to have a small amount of cards to go through because the problem that I had initially when I started Project Life in 2013 is that I was forever seeking the perfect card. Now, there are probably 50 perfect cards in your stash that would work with this photo. And I think it's important that once you find one that works, go with it. Don't keep looking. That's the biggest thing that I think I learned from um, starting Project Life was you don't need all of the cards, <laughs> even though they're tempting, you don't need them all and you don't need to look through them all. Just pick a small selection and go through those ones. I've been really into journaling around the outside. Every time I say that, I think of that um, Eminem song, round the outside, round the outside. <laughs> um, I've been really into journaling around the outside and it's a nice little way to journal but also make it a design kind of kind of an embellishment feature I guess you could say um, instead of just writing it like normal so this is a photo that I stole from my sister-in-law's uh, Instagram of my other sister-in-law and I just wanted to put that in my project life because she's growing up so fast oh, when Aaron and I started dating 10 years ago she was only one She'd only just turned one too. So she was still a wee little thing in little nappies and couldn't really talk and had barely any hair. And now she's growing up into a beautiful little lady. Um, this is a photo of the bunnies, of course. And this layout is actually from uh, the very end of spring. So it was getting to be a little bit warm here. And so blueberries and grapes were their favorite treats. So we call them grapeies and bluebies. And they're, <laughs> they're the bunny's favorite snack. So if you say bluebies or grapeies, um, they probably just react to the e sound and how you say it in a cute voice. But I secretly think they know what it means. Uh, next up, we've got... So this is just a piece of paper. This is from a paper pad that I've cut up. And it's a good way if you're using some pattern paper and you have a scrap that's big enough to make a three by four card, instead of saving the whole piece of paper to put in your scraps box, um, it's I think it's a really good idea to cut as many three by four cards as you can from the piece of paper and then put the leftover bit in your scrap box. It's just something that I've found to be really handy unless it's a huge piece then go for it but if it's roughly a three by four size then I just cut it up straight away and it just makes life a bit easier this is just going to be a straight up filler card and I wonder what I put because this is Aaron's birthday week and I wonder what I'm going to put in that red circle I filmed this one a few months ago so I have slightly forgotten these are some long lost alphas. They came off the bottom. I think it was an old Teresa Collins Christmas sticker sheet. And I got a couple of them on clearance and they've turned out to be some of my favorite alphas that November. Um, they're just a really nice font. I'm a very, I like my topography and I just, yeah, I just really like that font. So I'm adding a few little tiny word stickers here in a cream tone because I'm okay with mixing cream and white. I know a lot of people aren't, but I actually quite like it, especially when you use other kind of warm tones like the, the reds and the pinks and the wood grain that's in this card. 
So next up, I'm moving along. Let's see what's next. Oh, this was a funny photo. So to you, this might look like a pile of junk food, but to me, it saved me through two weeks of the longest two weeks of my life. So I taught year two last year, and as part of the year two program, we do swimming lessons for two weeks. Now, granted, they were the hottest freaking two weeks of the entire school year, and I was pregnant, my and we found out later on my grade partner was also pregnant and the children had to swim in an indoor heated pool it was torture for a pregnant lady to be in that all of that chlorine my goodness at least in a way it was good to only have it for two weeks and get it over and done with it was it took up probably and they were in the lesson for an hour but it took up longer time than that so my, I had a prac student at the time as well, and the three of us would go to the vending machine and <laughs> buy ourselves some snacks to bribe ourselves to get through with a smile on our face until the children were done with swimming. We didn't actually have to teach them. We just stood and supervised on the side, but my goodness, they were the longest hours of my whole school year. So that was a photo of the birthday boy. We went out to dinner with his family and those little moustache hearts. I knew I wanted to use one with this layout. I often get asked if I plan my layouts beforehand. I really don't. Um, I occasionally might think um, this photo would really match this collection or this photo would look good with some blue sort of mixed media. But that's as far as it goes. I don't usually plan and... Um, I kind of just turn on the camera and see what my hands can reach on my desk. So this little one, I love that sticker sheet, the big 12 by 12 one. I think it's a Kayser Craft old, old one. And I really should use it more often. The reason why I don't is because of the size. I think it's just a bit cumbersome to be that giant. Um, as you can see, Archie's only a little bump inside my belly at this point because it's November. And he wasn't born for another four months. So he's just a, a wee little bump there. But Poppet still was a guard bunny, even when he wasn't born. <laughs> and this layout's all done. So it was a really nice, quick and easy one. So my tips for you to catch up on your project life is to use some paper scraps and cut them into four by six, uh, sorry, three by four cards and keep them on your desk. And another little tip I have is don't search for the perfect card. Find one that works and just go for it. Just go for it. Oh, that was a funny text message that I <laughs> that I sent to Aaron. Um, yeah, just go with your gut because if you Project Life is meant to be just about capturing the moment and just I just feel like I get too caught up and too behind if I think about it too much. So thank you so very much for watching today. And if you haven't heard, I've started a Patreon, which is exciting. So all of the information's down below. And there's also a video on my channel showing what you can get for the different levels if you support me. But I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.